up a uh, Toyota 8 series with a 4-way ECS engine and the problem with this one actually this came from the states my boss bought it from the states and it came in um, it has a hard start issue so let me show you what's happening right now okay so I don't know if you noticed that so right now my gauge is hooked up to the line that's supposed to go to the injector so by experience i know these engines uh even though the injector was disconnected that it would still be able to start because primarily most of the fuel for starting is coming from this hose which is going to the fcm or fuel control motor uh, both the um, injector and the um, main path which leads to that fcm comes from this um, slow path solenoid when starting okay so I don't know if you notice it but let's try that again so this is supposed to have uh, 3.5 to 5 psi pressure uh, from the slow path based on the book so okay but the one thing that I did notice though and I think you've seen it on the camera is that when I have that pressure it wouldn't start but as soon as my gauge drops down to zero and that would tell me that my slow path solenoid has already closed that's when it started to actually start okay so now I'm thinking that this is actually drowning the engine with fuel and that's why I cannot start is yes, I have too much fuel all right that it's not I don't have enough air because when you're cranking you're not opening the throttle so let's try that theory out I'm gonna step on the pedal while I crank it and see if it starts any better so key on I can hear the motor for that throttle and then I'm gonna crank it well, so it started a bit easier although it kind of stumbles at first let's try that again key on that's a motor, wide open. Okay, and then I'm gonna crank it. Okay, so really I'm not really adding, what I was trying to do is add more air to come in into the intake. So, one thing I noticed though, this is supposed to be tamper proof and I guess somebody was playing around with it that it kind of backed off or somebody tried to make it richer. So what I'm gonna to try to do is, I'm gonna screw this in, right? That would make it leaner. And then we're gonna to try to see if it improves on the starting. Or at least I'm thinking that this is open up more than it should. So turning counterclockwise opens up the passage, making it more rich. And then turning clockwise is gonna screw it in to make it leaner. So. I think that was four. Let's try it again. Cranking. Okay, not quite enough. Okay. Turn it again. One, two, three, four. That's a lot. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Ooh, okay. two, three, four, let's try it again, not quite yet, let's try this one again, one, two, okay, let's see, okay, screw it up some more, so, screwed it in some more, so, let's see, okay, so what's happening right now is I think I screwed that in too much that is not allowing any gas now to go into this because now my pressure is being held right so the passage towards that FCM has been blocked by now so let me unscrew this turn counterclockwise see what happens there so now the passage is open right because whatever it is that's there is now going into the FCM 
Okay, let me try this again. So it's still long crank. Okay. Back this out just a bit more. So I'm turning counterclockwise on that screw. Okay, still not enough. So I was playing around with it, the screw. So what I was trying to do earlier, which I could not um, take a video of because I only have two hands, is cranking it and then slowly adjusting that screw to where it would actually start up better. So this is now what's happening. Okay, so at idle, of course, it's not gonna run as good because I have the injector out. So, but, you can have the turn now, all right? So as you can see now, the difference is, from earlier, it would only start up when my gauge goes to the zero when my uh, slow path solenoid turns off and then it would start but right now see the pressure is being held it doesn't wait for the slow path solenoid to turn off and it starts up right away okay so there you go so the only thing right now is i'm gonna connect that injector back and then we're gonna test it again crank it and now because i turn this screw i'm gonna need to check once it heats up i'm gonna have to make sure that my oxygen sensor is switching as it should because otherwise after that uh more likely i'm gonna have a code for air fuel ratio okay so my injector hose has been connected back okay my gauge is not gonna be in use anymore okay let's try to crank it again Okay, so now it's going to do it idle because I have the injector now connected. Okay, so uh, earlier I was saying that most of the fuel uh, when cranking, when you're trying to start it, is going to come from the FCM. And in my uh, experience, the pressure or the injector, even though it's firing on the cranking, is neg negligible that it wouldn't be able to start the engine with that. So let's try that out. I'm gonna disconnect this. Let's run out of fuel. All right. So as you can see, my injector's still connected, right? Right there. So the connector and the hose is connected. The FCM is disconnected though, but it's not able to start. So that proves that most of the fuel at cranking for you to start up your engine it's not coming from the injector but it's coming from the um, main path although they come from the same solenoid which is a slow path so let's try this again now i connect it back starts up right away all right so right now the only thing i have to do is adjust it a bit more while looking at my uh, oxygen sensor reading once it heats up to make sure that i'm not going to get any codes afterwards and then that's it I can call this one a fix. Okay, so hooked up my uh, Pico to my oxygen sensor right now. Pre-cap. So it is switching. All right. So it's already warmed up. It's already on closed loop. Let's rev it up. Compensate again. And as you start switching, you're just trying to compensate. Okay, so I'm good with that. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have a code afterwards, even though I was playing around with the um, idle screw. So I guess for this one, we can call this one a fix. Okay, let's do one more start up, off, and then on again. Yep, okay, so this one's a fix.